hello friends welcome to this video so this video is specifically about my experience of doing a master's in computer science in TU Delft Netherlands so as all of you know like TU Delft or Delft University of Technology is very very famous in Netherlands and it's ranked in top 50 in the world in computer science so I did my master's back in like 2015 to 2017 and I was a non-EU student I was actually from India I had a very positive experience with my whole master's in computer science program. I was in software technology track. During my time, there are two tracks, uh, data science and software technology. And after finishing master's, actually before finishing master's, like one or two months before, I think in July, I already got a PhD offer where I'm working now in Open University of the Netherlands. Although it is a different story that uh, many of my promoters and my supervisors are also some are in Frankfurt, some are in Delft. So yeah, so it's varied all around. But this video is specifically share my positive experience with TU Delft. So it might help you to the people who are coming to TU Delft, maybe to study computer science or maybe to study some other subjects. And please proceed with caution if you are just taking my advice uh, on the point so also do your own research talk with other alumni other people before just focusing only on my perspective or my experience okay so let's start with academic load so yeah academic load as you know in netherlands is always on the higher side be it any faculty computer science aerospace uh, and because of the quarterly study system that you have here you are expected to finish at least 15 ects each quarter so on paper when you see the results you will see a semester result but ideally you will have quarters which vary for like two or two and a half months where you sometimes have exams, sometimes daily assignments, projects, and there are many other things. So ideally, if you take on an average, there will be like a five ECTS course. So ideally you'll do three courses if you want to do 15 ECTS in a quarter. ECTS is actually European credit systems. Ideally, you should have like 60 ECTS for a year so that you are on track. So that's why it's 15 ECTS per quarter, but sometimes you also have six ECTS subjects, four ECTS courses. So it depends. So one tip that I can give you a pro tip is like always try to plan uh, some in some way because you will have a lot of choices. Normally in our case, it was like there are a few compulsory courses and many optional choices to choose from a pool of courses. So always try to choose like two difficult courses and one easy course per quarter. So if you have that kind of a combination of easy and hard, I know that it is difficult to do like that if I say like this to you, but ideally if you go through the course browser beforehand and do your own research before coming here or maybe after coming here immediately for one or two weeks and talk to other people, then you will definitely find that sweet spot some kind of a combination because that will help you to save time if you have all the three courses which have huge number of weekly assignments and you have to devote a lot of hours for projects then i my friends i would say like it will be very very difficult to finish 15 ECTS. so because of these type of combination what i did was instead of 60 ECTS, i finished 75 ECTS in one year so that I could focus 45 ECTS was my thesis ideally masters is like 120 ECTS two year masters research masters so I wanted to give more time for my thesis that was my plan from day one so that's why I thought like if I start doing a little bit more and understand the system get used to the system then I can finish 75 or maybe 70 ECTS that was my initial target I just increased it slow slowly like taking one step ahead so i think i remember like in first quarter there are also some courses which span for two quarters like one semester so there will be different permutation and combination but i think i finished like 15 ECTS in first quarter second was also 15 or 20 and then i stepped up my game in my last six months of the first year so at that time i think i finished like four courses in one quarter 
uh, in one quarter and sometimes like 20-25 easy days at that time I had like two difficult two uh, easy courses so yeah you have to plan these things out if you want to give specific time or importance to specific portion of your whole master's program so for me thesis was very important so if I am happy with 40 or 50 ECTS courses which are really on to the point of computer science and the rest 15 or 20 ECTS I can take something like say like 30 ECTS say some optional subjects like entrepreneurship and innovation which are not really related to computer science but will help me to kind of get the credits and also get an outlook overview of the things that are going to help me later in the future maybe in research or maybe uh, while going for entrepreneurship um, maybe opening a startup or working in a company anything one thing I can tell you is that I had a um, I had a video on this you can have a look at the video it explains all the important 10 different things that you must know when you come to Netherlands for the first time and do a master's be it in any subject any faculty and one final thing that I'll tell you about the academic load is that uh, I, I mean I would not tell you to look after subjects per se like the, the courses but try to uh, take courses which don't have exams I mean we had the opportunity because in computer science there are many courses which don't have exams because what I feel is that at the end of the day if you have exams you are more stressed because exams are also very analytical and they don't really test the book knowledge they test your understanding your real true in-depth understanding of the subject and there are also many open book exams so uh, there is also a higher chance that you might fail because of certain circumstances and it also depends how much that exam contributes to your final grade so I have experienced that subjects which have weekly assignments projects and no exams normally passing is easier but it is very demanding in terms of time so if you don't have exams those subjects have so much assignments or group work or projects or review reading a review paper or review a article um, you will give more time per week but you are sure that you are going to pass yeah so that's the the trade-off that you can you need a that's like compromise now let's move to the next part and that is about the study internships part-time jobs and jobs so I will try to make it very short because I have made individual videos on these topics but I'll just touch upon different points based on my experience in computer science so you have different student associations like Christian Huygens Indian student associations they organize different cultural activities career fairs uh, actually career fairs is organized by the university and normally in career fair you can meet different representatives from these different companies that are hiring here although it's not like a campus recruitment my friend as you have in India so companies don't come per se to hire you but they come to uh, kind of get you acquainted with what is out there and what they are looking for and then you can take it ahead from there okay so these association as I mentioned the study association they organize cultural events like Holi Diwali and sometimes some study abroad trips like Christian Huygens sometimes they also give free coffee with a small membership fee and this Christian Huygens is specifically for computer science but for different faculties you have different study associations and you also go for abroad trips some barbecue there are many different events like that just go and look out for have an open mind and go look out for you'll find a lot of things and yes in Tudel there is something very fascinating very nice which is called uh, Yestel which is like a startup incubator uh, normally they also hire people and they also help you to nurture you to build your own startup or to train you so yeah and one more thing you might already know I have a very short two three minute video you might see it on the screen here is about the industrial internships actually industrial thesis not internships intensive obviously will do in industry but thesis also you can do the thesis that I mentioned which is like 40 ECTS 45 ECTS it depends on your faculty uh, you can do with a company and the advantage of that is that you get paid every month which will kind of cover your living expenses 
and about part-time jobs there are different options i won't go into the details in this video do check that video which i have done before flashing on the screen it will be very very helpful okay let's go to the thesis and the research so in computer science we had 45 ects thesis and you can choose different faculties different research groups are there so we had two tracks software technology and data science I was in software technology although at the end I saw like it was more of a branding thing like even though you are not in data science track your thesis can be purely data science driven so I thought it was more of a branding where you have two or one compulsory courses out of the five different between software technology and data science but rest everything was same so it really doesn't matter whether you are in which track it really matters what what matters is that you should choose your research group wisely depending on the current trend or your interest and everything blah 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 so yeah so ideally they expect like seven to eight months for the thesis and as i mentioned because i finished 75 ects so i gave like a year one year one full year for my thesis which was like 45 ects and i think during my time there were eight different research groups we had a very nice master's kickoff program which is like a welcome or introduction program uh, after you arrive here after you have the general introduction you have also departmental introduction program where you go for outing and you get to experience all the different talk with different phds postdocs experience what research is going on in different research groups and what kind of projects they're working on and then you can decide even from the first month only that what will be your ideal potential research group where you might do your thesis in the second year so i would not say to rush it but i would say like start having some initial thoughts or initial planning uh, like where you might go end up after a few months or maybe after the end of the year uh, which research group you'll be going for that will be a good uh, idea and maybe uh, during the master's kickoff or over the course of your first year try to have some informal talks with the phds and the postdocs of the research groups that you want to work with and very important thing which you must ask them is how is their relationship with their supervisors because i know this is a very minor thing but after finishing my master thesis i must admit that that can make or break your master thesis the relationship with the supervisor and it's very very vital my friends now let's go to the last few points so talking about language and student life as everyone says learn dutch i'm in my sixth year i haven't yet but i would highly recommend you if you want to stay here for a longer time i mean now i am quite acquainted by hearing different words and i was also preparing for the in Berkeringen exam which is kind of like integration exam which you need to pass certain a2 level of reading writing listening speaking in dutch so yeah so now i have made the effort because i needed to pass that exam to get a permanent residence and i hope that i'll pass all the exams till now i haven't yet um but yeah so if you want to integrate with the society people will definitely appreciate but one thing remember that don't panic even if you don't know dutch more than 99 percent people will speak english so it should not be a problem and delft is a very small cozy city surrounded by rotterdam the hague amsterdam so you can if you don't find houses i have heard there is very scarcity of housing you can also stay in the surrounding cities there's a like a half an hour by train and you can also bike if you like if you dare i mean biking is the best here uh, by bike i mean cycle for indians so yeah and you can travel with the ov chip card if you don't know what is ov chip card then take my check my transportation playlist here everything is detailed very very short videos you can get a very nice idea so about cost of living i won't talk about cost of living in this video but I have very nice two videos where in one video I talk about general cost of living and I have also written a reply in Quora which covers that general video and also there are two other videos which are like 
comparing cost of living in Eindhoven and TU Delft and also in Delft and also how to save money as a student like six or five different ways how to go for cheap shops cheap clothing and all these things what are the ways you can do so yeah do watch out those videos on the screen somewhere will be there and also in the description I'll list them down and finally about job prospects so yeah so as I said, TU Delft has options about career fairs. Yes, Delft also helps you sometimes. And there are many professor contacts, departmental contacts, research group contacts. If you have done an industrial thesis or internship, then you can convert that opportunity to something more meaningful later, like a job or a permanent position. And I have a very nice video, I think, which is like the most watched video on my channel also about the working in Netherlands. So I would not blabber everything about it here to although because this video is already long so you can check the job prospects video and uh, it covers everything about questions related to internships search visa by search visa i mean you have a one year stay back visa after study if you don't find jobs to search for jobs and obviously go through different playlists in my channel if you're a newcomer or if you're planning to extend your masters or staying here about shops and everything i have detailed videos and playlists on studying and living in netherlands and europe and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and check all these videos and information in the description below i have also made a blog blog of all these things you might be seeing it somewhere um the link in the description and you can check my website i'll publish this blog it will already be published by the time you watch this video probably and then you can kind of read it note it down make some bookmarks as you wish so i hope this helped you in some way don't forget to smash the like button share this video help each other out till next video goodbye from netherlands peace